On the table at Squirrel Stampede, we have made it to the year 2020 Squee, and we've got Lego Minecraft to build. We have the Sword Outpost, the Diamond Sword Outpost. What a great looking model to start things off. Hmm, I wonder if I am worthy of pulling the Diamond Sword from the ground. Let's give it a shot here. I think I could do it. I guess not. I, I guess I'm not worthy to pull the sword up the butt, worthy enough to build it, which is why it's already built though. I don't know, 2020 Squee is going to be such a weird year. So let's get constructing and learning all about this great new 2023 LEGO Minecraft set. So it's LEGO Minecraft set number 21244, the sword outpost. 427 pieces with the all new mob helper Ole. I have not really interacted one with that yet in gameplay. Also some new skin figures. We've got the sentinel soldier, a pig and a guardian warrior. Plus of course a skeleton and creeper mob. On the back of the box we have an image of the sword outpost. Something that we should probably try building in our Minecraft world at some point. A giant diamond sword slicing into the earth right approximately where the creeper is exploding a chunk off this base. We've got a lot of interesting detail and items placed in throughout. Seemed like a perfect set to start the year. Inside the box, thank you Landry for the assist. We've got a base plate of green, a medium book of instructions. Bag one, bag two, bag three, bag four and what must be some small Ole wing pieces. There's a lot to build here so we can find out if Landry can indeed pull the diamond sword from the ground. As long as there's an acorn under it, I can pull it from the ground. All right, so let's begin the bag of one construction and see what we have. Okay, bag one builds complete. Um, something's not right here. I think it's fine. We've constructed our new skinly built figures. The Sentinel Soldier with Trident. You can only try your best with an enchanted trident. Now excuse me while I go get my trident. And the very pale-faced Guardian Warrior. I will guard this base with my life. Yeah, something just doesn't feel right here. We've got a skeleton mob, we've got a creeper in the back, and this cute little new mob is here, the Ole. Am I saying that right, Ole? I have yet to see one in gameplay. Kind of reminds me of a little Vex. We've got little plastic wings on the back here. They gave you two, don't worry, if one splits and breaks. A little floaty flyer mob on top of a little floaty clear display stand probably helps you pick up items like apples. Always good to have a new little mob build, though. And behind the little Ole, we have a nice little station of items. We've got a couple lanterns with a music box, jukebox block back here, a furnace, and a disc. What is this? Probably cat again. It's in green. We can drop that actually into play, which is pretty cool. And if I forgot to mention, don't forget the cute little pink pig mob over on the left there. And I suppose this iron helmet goes to that pig. Something still doesn't feel right here. Uh, I'm gonna go check on something. Found my trident! Okay, we have much to build in bag number two. We gotta get the structure of this outpost going. And earlier, did I mention there is one green base plate? Well, there's actually two green base plates. No, no, that's not what's wrong here. Hmm. Alright, let's continue with bag number two. Not too much going on with bag number two, only setting the stage for our giant diamond sword build, which will be quite a lot of fun, as that is everything featured in bag three. We have most of a sword build to construct with bag three. 
kind of wish we had the full sword as an option that we could break off. This set could almost segue into a future series of Lego Minecraft armor pieces would be great. Wouldn't it be fun to build diamond swords and pickaxes, large scale, real life scale? That could be pretty interesting. I would not be surprised if that is that far off as Lego is always looking for different ideas, so let's get to bag three and construct our diamond sword base. Something is still not going right here. And that was pretty much one of the most satisfying build stages of a Minecraft set ever. We have half a diamond sword, or a little more than half, just a little bit extra needed. Again, I would have loved had they just given us just a little extra to finish off this sword, as this in itself was really fun. So I hope they kind of see this video and go, hey, that's right, Dan, let's do some more weapon items uh, large scale. It would be really fun and it looks super good in brick form. So there is our diamond sword build. On one side, obviously going to be plain, it's the back side, but you know you could do those reverse bricks uh, with the studs up to complete that side if you wanted to. Uh, but there's the front side looking ever so exactly like a diamond sword. And then we're just gonna place onto our base like I'm not sure yet. Swing this around here up and and into the cliff face like so. And so studded gently onto this side and then right above the water source. And we've got it structurally adhered, making quite a display piece. This is a very striking build. It's fun how we are seeing so many more sculpture builds lately with the series. We've got the diamond sword today and upcoming the panda and a few other builds that resemble a giant sculpture of the item, which is quite a lot of fun. Great for display, but a pretty cool base camp look. Gonna have to try this build in my gameplay at some point. Point being the key word there. So now we can move on to bag four and pretty up this base, this sword outpost. Bag four looks to be just a jumble of extras, so let's get working on the rest of the outpost. Frankly, I'm just not in the right mind or body today. Hmm, something's just not right. And there constructed our Lego display model of the sword outpost. A pretty good build to start the year. Mostly visible from the front, over on the back side a little bit plain, but still pretty interesting as you have a giant diamond sword cutting into this earth with a little bit of a outpost tower on the side, then a little bit of water trickling down and a small little outpost underneath. I think I figured it out. You have my body. No, no, that's not it at all. We also have a couple arrow dispensers up front. Give them a tap from the back and you'll pop an arrow out. We've got three arrows included, an extra piece if needed. I like the one by two bricks with the stud center front. I don't recognize that brick very often. Is that a fairly new brick? It lets you place these nice little one by one studs on the front and give a little extra detail to the front of the outpost. And of course, like many of these Minecraft build sets, we've got a creeper lever, a creeper action feature. Say our creeper walks by and steps on this pad because he is annoyed by someone. <coughs> and he'll knock down the back of the tower, most unexplosive-like. Maybe I try that again. It's just a simple little lever. This whole back piece is obviously going to fall backwards. Kind of a fun little piece. 
And I like how this Holt Tower doesn't actually get super destructed, as it's always kind of a pain to place those back together. Now I figured it out! I'm supposed to be the Guardian Warrior! And this is my sword! Well, I'm taking the sword, and I'm going to guard the heck out of it! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh, come on, I just built that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did not rebuild that correctly, but there we go! With the sword outpost, a pretty good build to start the year with, very nice display model, and looking quite well. And of course, more upcoming set builds for January, we've got the Bee Cottage, a nice little bee construction monument sculpture with bees circling a birch tree, and a honey bear skin figure. This one reminds me of the old Skull Duel. For this one, it's the End Arena, with a dragon archer versus an end warrior. That'll be fun to see. And a larger build here, a giant panda, a giant panda house, the Panda Haven. That'll be interesting and fun. I wonder what's inside the Haven of Panda. Plus that Jungle Explorer, very Indiana Jones-esque. And I'm still also searching for the deep, dark battle with our first look at a Lego Warden. That's going to be terrifically fun to search for, so keep an eye out for that. As well as some all new great Ninjago builds. Lots to be done in January for Lego, as always. They release a lot of great stuff at the start of the year. And that's what we got with the Sword Outpost. What do you think? Do you like it? Is it the best set? Are you looking for that deep, dark battle with the Warden more? Or are you interested in diamond swords and pandas and bees? There's so much to decide from. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, squam at your favorite new set for January 2020. Squee! Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.